What's up, brew tube land? It's Easter Sunday. It's been a good day. It's been a long day. Great three day weekend, but I'm tired. Time for a beer. Want to hit this up? CDNR. So asked uh, Josh of uh, what that meant, and it's a uh, raspberry Berliner Weiss. So, uh, I can't wait to get into this thing. Oh, all right. Again, subjective reviews. I have a feeling there won't be a problem here. So I do a, a, a Berliner as well that I'm very fond of. So it'll be interesting to see differences and similarities. Nice pink color. It's a little darker in person than it is on the camera, what you're seeing. Dang, nice carbonation. See some bubbles streaming up. It's got just a little bit of foam on the top, a little bit of head, but this mine does the same thing. Sometimes it's hard to, to keep um, any head retention on, on uh, some of these beers, some of the sours. Oh wow. So right off the bat, I can smell the, the background. Um, I can smell the base Berliner a lot. I can smell that lactic acidity. With just like an underlying kind of breadiness to it maybe. Which might kind of has the same thing. But then on top of that and kind of in the forefront is uh, like a really nice fresh kind of raspberry and now I don't know if he did this and hopefully he'll comment below or I'll, I can ask him if he did this with actual raspberries or if it was a syrup I do my base Berliner and then I I buy um, like fresh really nicely made raspberry syrup so I don't actually fruit mine Oh, that's delicious. The taste falls the nose somewhat. That's really nice. The body on it's light, which for the size that a Berliner is, on top of what it's made out of, traditionally it's like half uh, Pilsner malt, half uh, wheat malt, I believe. So it's not going to have a ton of body to it, necessarily. Phone gave out a memory. Yeehaw. But man, I've been sitting with this for a couple minutes. And it's just beautiful. The raspberry <clears throat> brings an extra little bit of tartness to it. My Berliner is a lot, is a decent amount more sour than this, but it's also a little lighter body. So I like, I like the body on this one better for sure. It's tart, but not too tart. This is a much more approachable, like a, most people I would guarantee you would like this better than the one that I just made. Well, just made last year. But I love the raspberry. The it's about a medium. It's not light. It's not heavy on the raspberry, which is beautiful because I don't like. Um, you don't want it to just punch you in the face and overwhelm the rest of the the, the beer. And this thing is crystal, crystal, crystal clear. Look at that. It's ridiculous. And you can see the carb. It's got great carbonation. Josh, you killed it, man. Killed it on this one. I'm interested to know if you did a um, like a kettle sour or if it was a longer. I would imagine it's a kettle sour. Most Berliners are nowadays. Dude, totally digging this. 
I'm going to be asking you about process on this one and um, and see how it kind of compares to mine, whether you use like a like a lab pitch, like a, a Y-East or a White Labs uh, Lacto or maybe even uh, like Good Belly, as opposed to how I do mine, which is just the grain. It's just the, the unmilled grain I throw in there that has the Lacto on it. This is, this is, again, mine's more tart, so it's a little hard to compare, but I like this, I like the tartness on this a little bit better. It's a little bit more crisp and not quite as acidic, but it's really nicely tart. I can drink these all night long. Josh, fantastic job, man. Sorry for the crappy review. Um... As far as content goes, well done, my friend. I could drink a lot of these. And it's impressive to look at. That's insanity how clear that is. And some of that you can't see because I got some condensation on there. Look at that. Killed it, Josh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Another one that... uh. I'm going to sit back and enjoy the rest of this. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Cheers. Turn off.